Hello, it's me James, and welcome back to another Minecraft video. So, with the 1.16 update just around the corner, I thought, why not list 10 different designs of nether portals um, that you could possibly build in your survival world? Now, normally, we would probably just have a portal like the one behind me. I know in my survival world, Simply Survival, I've got one just like this, and I needed a little bit of inspiration. So, I decided, yeah, this video would be perfect. Not only would I inspire myself, to get a little bit more creative hopefully i could inspire you guys too so before we get into the video go ahead and click that subscribe button if you're liking the content i'm producing smash that like button if you've got any questions regarding realms or just any questions in general feel free to hit me up on the discord as that is the best place to get me if you do not have a discord feel free to hit me up on the twitter or the insta jam and i'll be happy to get back to you there so yeah like i said 1.16 is just around the corner this is the perfect time um to actually design our portals a little bit better and add a little bit more character to these bad boys behind us because obviously they're going to become a lot more useful when the update is coming out a lot more people are going to be using the nether definitely for sure so number one i thought well it's obviously the nether update right so why not do a nether style hell kind of portal right so the nether is like kind of coming out into the overworld again we've used the technique to make it like a circle so we've got like two two portals um in essence but it just makes it like that circle shape we've used loads of nether wrap basically we've used every block that's in the nether to really bring that nether feel and not only that we've used some campfires just to make the smoke go up and it, and it like i said it just gives that hell feel a little bit better and we've also got a little wither skeleton there and also we've got these obviously i've used some stone walls and different types of walls to make it look like there's points coming out of the caves um we've got a little lava fall as you can see just here and like i said we've got our little wither dude which he's just protecting the portal again it's really um to do with your imagination whatever you can think of and whatever you can do really give it a go and mess around with those types of blocks and you will be able to come up with something like this again i am not a great builder but i am really happy with how this one um turned out to be honest with you because like i said i'm not the best builder but this actually does look like it's supposed to be there and it came out of the nether so yeah like i said i'm really happy with how this turned out so maybe you want to go to a completely opposite dimension and obviously we just had the nether so why not do a end style portal now this one again we've used the the technique where we can make it look like a round circle by making um the portal behind the blocks that we actually place and we've used some like different like end bricks basically and again this one in my opinion it does look a little bit plain however it kind of gives the feel again that the end is blasting its way out of that portal somehow and obviously we know that that's impossible but just by placing these few end items it actually looks pretty decent again this is not my favorite one but i hope this could inspire you in um, like making a end portal maybe like not the actual end portal but an end at nether portal it's kind of a weird concept but like i said i'm really happy with how it turned out we got some shocker boxes we got the chorus fruit and again it doesn't look all that bad um i mean when i first started this channel i really did want to improve my building i think little projects like this are definitely definitely helping out and do that and like i said you can literally do whatever you want i mean we've done the nether dimension the end dimension and some people might even want to do a modern style build now again i am really bad with modern style builds however i've given it a go just to showcase it in this video so again i've used concrete because that is like a modern kind of block in my opinion i've used a few different colors of concrete in addition to this i've used some glass panes some singular glass panes going up um, a, a stream of water um i'm not sure if this is the best kind of modern outlook on a portal but it was the best that i could achieve now um hopefully this could give you some kind of inspiration and again this isn't just your standard portal either this has actually got four portals into one as you can see we went all the way around the outside and it's actually got four different portal so this is like you could use this like in your nether hub or you could use it in your like overworld hub you could have an overworld hub going north east south and west it's completely up to you again i mean i could have made this a little bit better i think i don't know but again i'm not really a big fan of modern building um i prefer the like old charactery 
um, kind of look to building in Minecraft anyway. But like I said, there's so many people out there that do like the modern way of building, and they'd be probably a lot better than me at doing this. But Hopefully, this will give you a little bit of inspiration if you do choose to do a modern style portal. Again, like I said, I am fairly happy with it. I mean, it doesn't look all that bad. Um, it would make a great centerpiece for your nether hub or something like this if you have got a hub. Um, and again, like I said, it's pretty decent. It's got four different entrances, so you can come from four different directions. Okay, so this one is definitely my favourite so far. I've simply done the same technique of doing like a round style portal, but we've took it all the way underwater. We've got an ocean portal. Again, I've added all like the ocean plants around it, as well as some little coral plants around. Again, I'm really, really happy with this. The way I achieved this to actually get it to light underwater, we actually had to remove like three layers of water. So I built two walls at either side of the portal, drained the water, and then lit the portal, and then removed those those blocks and it really did work out really well again the stone um, uh, walls that I put on the top with that extra little point I think that adds a super nice little bit of detail and like I said you've just got to mess around with the different blocks and different things of your theme of build and you can really achieve something great I mean like I said I am not a great builder but I am so happy with this one uh, like I said, I am probably going to do some kind of portal like this in Simply Survival, purely for the fact that oceans don't get used enough. I mean, since the aquatic update, they have been used um, a hell of a lot more. But I think just by putting your brain to it and literally, like I said, doing a little bit of um, makeshift building with different blocks and stuff like that, you can actually achieve some really good stuff. And like I said, this has got to be my favorite one so far. It does look really, really awesome, right? I mean, I'm really happy with the way it's turned out. I really, really am. Um, again, you could go behind it and build like a base. This could be like an entrance or something like that. It doesn't even have to just be a portal. This could be like an entrance to your base. And it could double up as a portal to get to your nether. I mean, it's entirely up to you. However big your imagination is, is however great the build is going to be. I mean, anyone could do this. I mean, if I could do it, you definitely can too. So, sticking with the ocean theme, and obviously in the aquatic update, we had ruined ships or shipwrecks um, added to the update. So, I thought, you know, like, you see these and you get a couple of chests in them, but then you kind of, like, never go to them. And I actually really like the shipwrecks kind of, like, um, structure that actually spawns, especially if you find a full one like this. So, for example, this just looks like your standard everyday shipwreck. I mean, we could go down there and we could even look in the chests that are located in there. We've got two chests in there, that is right. So, you'd come down here and get your loot. I mean, you could grab whatever you want. we got two chests, but this is not the only feature of this shipwreck oh no like i said this is a portal video so what i've gone and done is in this little back room here drained it all out and kind of like added a portal into the back of it again i don't know why i thought of this but i thought it really was a nice little idea for me i mean you could go ahead and drain the entire ship you could add a few more blocks to make it possible and again it looks really really nice I mean, if I was on a survival island seed and I was doing some kind of survival island, imagine you found a shipwreck like this and you was physically living inside the ship. I think that would be super, super awesome, right? I mean, like I said, I'm not the best at building. As you can see, there's a few different signs about and stuff like that because I didn't really know what to put. But I think those, in essence, do add a little nice feature to it. And then when you come on the outside as well, you, it just looks like a normal ship. So, I, I am, to be fair, I am actually pretty proud of this one. Um, again, I wouldn't say it's my favourite, but it is up there with the top few. Said this design would actually be perfect for, like, a survival island design. If you had, a like, a survival island and you had a ship there, perfect. Absolutely perfect. So, uh, changing designs now, we are going for a icy slash snow bi biome kind of design. Again, I've got two... Um, snow golems here protecting the portal now this was getting thrown around a few times in the discord they said why don't you make an ice one and I thought you know what that's exactly what I'm going to do so I am not even in an ice biome I am just on top of a mountain now what I thought I could do is kind of make like an iceberg as you can see I've used three different 
um, blocks of ice, which again, I think it made it look a little bit better. I've tried to add a little path, but obviously there's not a hell of a lot of like materials you can use when it comes to like snow, ice. You've only got like three different blocks of ice and obviously you've got top snow and then blocks of snow. So I think I've done a fairly good job in regards to how this looks. I mean, you could go on forever adding details and stuff like that. Probably a better place to do this kind of design is in um, like a snow village. I think that's what they're called. So so, like you'd find a snow village and do it in there in addition to this you could do it inside an igloo you could literally do this anyhow you want i mean we haven't got a polar bear up here as of yet but that would be a nice little feature and as you can see at the back it's just a standard portal and um i, I am build it up on the back on purpose so i could show you that but it is just a standard portal and we built everything else around it giving us this like really weird kind of frozen look on the front again i am pretty proud of this one but like i said you can literally add more and more details to this to make it even, even better. I am definitely happy at the way that this one's turned out as well. Again, this is a ice portal. So next, we're going to go into the tropical mists of the jungle. Again, this is one of my favorite biomes. And to be honest with you, this has got to be one of my favorite portals that I've built as of yet. As you can see here, we've got a few little... God... How's he standing on water? This guy is walking on water. This parrot's... That is crazy. That that was crazy. But anyway, let's get back onto the um, actual video. So as you can see here, what I've done is I've got one of the small jungle trees and I've bulked it up a little bit and actually put a portal inside the tree. I mean, I, tr I was like racking my brain for different ideas, like thinking, how could I incorporate a portal into a jungle? And I think I've done an all right job. Again, I've added different kinds of shrubs around, which you wouldn't really normally find in a jungle. However, I think it gives that like thick, bush area which makes it again a little bit nicer we've got vines we've got cocoa beans and again what i've done to this one is bulked up the whole tree all the way around it you know like to make it look like it actually lives there um we've also added a few little pandas because obviously we, you've got to have some pandas if you're in the jungle and another little feature that i added as well was this little pond area i thought that was a nice little feature to go along with the tree it does look really really nice again like i said this is probably my favorite one as like so far on this video i know i've had a few favorites but i was really proud when i did this one again jungle biomes are one of those biomes that you either love them or hate them and since they've come into the game i I've always always loved them and this is definitely a great way to incorporate your nether portal into a jungle biome putting it inside of a tree so next what we've got i mean we did a jungle biome and kind of like an ice biome so why not go for a mountain kind of like portal style now this one um i didn't really know what to do i wanted it to look old and like kind of like it was part of the mountain so i seen a mountain with a huge hole in it and basically just started building i made a little path going into the hole as you can see we added some vines some different kinds of bricks and obviously we used the stone walls as well to to make those little points come out and i think that adds a nice little effect to the like cave kind of structure around it not to mention we have got all the water flowing down from the mountains which i'm super super happy about and like i said i've also added like a little port where you could get to this one via a boat i mean i didn't really know how you'd get to it but it just makes sense right if it's linking onto an ocean why not add this little port thing with a few little lily pads you know for a little bit of extra detail again this boat was an idea just came to me really really quickly you don't have to have a boat you could swim to it you could like have a path all the way across the ocean it's entirely up to you again i was really happy with the way that this turned out you know just the little details the spider webs and stuff like that again yeah like i said i was really really happy and i mean you wouldn't have to even like make it this side i mean this is a fairly big portal but you could make this thing huge if you really wanted to and then add little bits of detail afterwards i mean the size of these portals you can like i said you can make them absolutely massive and of course like i said you can just go up the path and then get to your portal again this is definitely up there with my favorites it's not quite my favorite but i'm really really happy at how it turned out 
So in the 1.6 update, there's a feature in it be, um, that adds ruined portals to the like equation, and then you can walk around your world and possibly find a ruined portal. But as you can see, I am in an abandoned village, so I thought if you've got ruined portals, why not have an abandoned portal? Now this one obviously isn't functioning right now, but I've left some obsidian around the place so you could literally light this whenever you want. I mean, the idea behind this one was in abandoned villages, you could actually have an abandoned portal and if you go through that abandoned portal it maybe could take you to an abandoned nether fortress i don't know i mean i was just throwing around ideas i mean i think it's an all right idea i mean it's not the worst again i think it does look really well it kind of does fit in with the village itself which which was quite nice i liked that feature about it and like I said, this is um, a very simple design. I mean, I don't know why I put the ladders on there. I just kind of was messing around with blocks. But that's all you've got to do. If you've got an idea, just go with it. Get as many blocks as you can. And then, boom, you just keep placing until it looks pretty decent. And that's what I did here. Okay, so finally we have got a like a desert temple portal. Now this one, again, I'm pretty proud of to be honest with you. I added a few different portals as well. So there's like a total of three portals. So say for example, this was your base or even you had one of these next to your base. You could literally take over the like the temple and make this the temple of portals or whatever. I mean, um, I added this little path for a little bit of extra effect because obviously if you are in the, if you're going to your nether portal, you are going to need a path to get there. So I added a little path with different kinds of colors and stuff like that, you know, to like really throw it in your face. And I think that it kind of looks like a mouth the way that I've put this, uh, the stairs around like the, the, the main portal in the middle. Um, and I've added these little bits as well, just to bulk up the temple alongside these bits on the top, just to give it a little bit of an extra point. And I've replaced, removed these blocks on the side and replaced them with half slabs. Again, I think that worked really, really well. It does actually look really good. I'm actually really, really happy with this one. Again, I do hope this has inspired you to make your very own temple portal. So that is literally it for today's video. Again, like I just said, I do hope I've inspired you to make some kind of design for your portal. And if you do choose to make some kind of design for your portal, hit me up on the Discord and then send a picture into the What's in Your Gallery chat. I would love to see all your different designs. Um, again, like I said, I'm not even the best builder. And I have, um, to be fair, I've literally made myself feel proud during this video. Um, I just put my mind to it and that was it. I literally... There are so many more designs that could be incorporated into this video as well. Again, if I get time and you would like to see some more designs, I'd be more than happy to actually do another video um, of nether portal designs if you really wanted. That's if you want it. So again... Let's say if this gets 500 likes, I'll do another video, but it's entirely up to you guys. But that is all I've got time for today. I'll catch you on the next one.